Hey guys, this is Rare Gaming and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to discuss about the updates for tomorrow's scheduled maintenance. Over here in the announcement page, just press any of the banners because I think they didn't update this yet. So you have to press the three lines on the upper left corner of the screen in order for you to check out the updates. And here, you can press notices and then this will come up. You can see the very first line, November 17th, Temporary Maintenance. And it was just posted one hour ago. Let's check this out. Over here, November 17th, Temporary Maintenance. And it will be at... Well, I figured it out. It's still 10 a.m. here in the Philippines because it says here... 11 well i think this is plus 9 utc so over here in philippines it's plus 8 so it's 10 a.m here where the update will start we have another choice fate core ray and this time it's the blue fate core banner you can see over here this is the one and remember guys the blue fate cores are actually support fate cores so take note Support type heroes and support fate cores are totally different. So, support type fate cores are like your priest, your healers, and stuff. But for blue fate cores, they are actually considered as support fate cores because they give you out some buffs. So, let's say for this successor to the throne, Raquel, he specifically gives additional buffs. Uh, when it comes to combat power, attack, defense, and HP under the Lenombination. So any of the heroes under Lenombination will be able to benefit from that. And you can see the other heroes under the Blue Fate Core. So it's up to you which one you're going to choose depending on your team or how you play the game. The first pool is always 200 CES when it comes to Choice Fate Core. And the succeeding pools will be 700 CES. choose these heroes over here and we have another re-banner for the heavenly harmony harbon artifact this is what it looks like if you're not familiar with it this is an orange fade core and this is for support type heroes So the skill, is, uh, skill effect for this particular artifact is 30% chance to grant 1 mana to ally with the highest attack at the start of battle. And when an ally is resurrected, heals 1 ally with the highest attack among the targets by 10% of own max health and grants 1 mana to target and self 1 time per round. So if it's level 30, 100% chance to grant mana, 1 mana to the ally with the highest attack and when ally is resurrected heals 1 ally with the highest attack amongst the target by 10% of all max health. So this is the effect of Heavenly Harmony Harbon. And also the Air Squadron or Guild War schedule because this week it's like we are in an off season or we have this rest week. So next, next week there will be another season open for the guild board. so this is just the uh, updates for tomorrow it's quite short so i'm pretty sure the update is just short because based here on the time it's like it's only one hour and 30 minutes sorry guys for that background noise <laughs> so uh, it's up to you if you're going to pull or someone the blue fate core of your choice as for me i think i won't be summoning because it seems i'm okay but one thing that keeps bothering me is the theme i'm really itching to buy one particularly uh greenland's theme and i've been thinking for about i don't know three weeks already or more so i think i'm going to purchase this now since we've already discussed about the updates and our video is going to be short so just an additional thing so 
I just want to make sure. Do you want to purchase Greenland by using the currency? So it costs about 3,000 cess. So if you have extra cess. I just want to make sure. <laughs> okay. There. Purchase airship theme so finally he'll be able to sleep well tonight <laughs> because i've been thinking about this for a few weeks already and i really wanted the song so let's go check it out we just have to press back and there it is please look forward to our next concert so i guess this will look better if battery and her team is here so i'm just going to try it we are going to place battery here oh wait the formation should be three heroes at the back and two heroes up front. Um, who else? Talia and Ulu. Okay, this is my Greenland team. And how about the events? For Red Threads of Fate, you still have 7 days in order for you to get this one. So guys, remember, currently Frost Flare, the exclusive equipment of Battery, is free with this Red Threads of Fate. If this is over, you have to purchase that exclusive equipment for around 15,000 cess. So if I were you, even if you don't have Battery yet, you can still get that just keep it in your inventory and if ever you got battery that's the time you're going to equip it so i think this is all for today guys um please do not forget to subscribe to my twitch channel and also in my youtube channel as well where you can see all of my other exo series content and other games as well and since uh i just want to add this since we do not have uh, events currently in Exos Heroes since we are just waiting for the next big thing to happen which is the coming of the second general of Nordbond Frosty which is Momoring and I think it will happen probably next week I'm not sure yet but I can sense another director's note is coming soon so while we are waiting for that I do apologize if I don't know if you find my videos not that in interesting, I guess. <laughs> but please, for those who are watching and for those who are supporting me in my videos, please do continue um, enjoying the videos. <laughs> Especially since we don't have any much to do or much to discuss. Since I'm not currently doing chapter 31 yet. You can see this over here. Oh wait, I just pressed it. So, so currently, I'm not doing that yet. So, I will just continue with our hero spotlight and discuss every hero there is in Exos Heroes currently. And, you know, the information I'm giving you are just the basics. So, I hope you don't mind with the basics because there are other players out there who are really nitty-gritty when it comes to gearing their equipments and i just already informed you from the start that whenever i do this i'm just going to teach you the basics because i also play in a very basic way i'm not really hardcore when it comes to gaming well i just want to explain that because who knows maybe some of you might be wondering why my techniques and stuff are just really average so I'm just going to tell you this ahead. <laughs> so anyway, guys, uh, yeah, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, do press the like button. <laughs> this is all. And have a great day. <laughs>